have to be on the retake here. It's a spike for the planet. First blood, though, for Sabrosa. Pancake's looking to challenge. Immediately traded. So two for one is the initial battle. As now the defense largely stacked up towards drop. Needs to find a way in. And I say that very dictatively because you still don't have a lot of room to work with. Nor how are you going to plan to get through a hall? Neon first blood. Can Pecky gets a double out of nowhere. And now all of a sudden what looked to be so good for TSM has completely been thwarted. It's Rossi for a 1v3. Nebula covering. No one on the defuse as of yet. The sentry turret providing a bit of a distraction. Long range shots now need to come through. Second contestant is Neon trying to hold this Gucci. And now it's just down to can you have enough bolts left to get through it. The answer, no. Scoochie will really have no problem finishing off this defeat. Fish pushes. Does seem like TSM with the ace play. First blood good for Sabrosa. It has immediately responded, so not a lot of gain from the first blood. Fight still lurking, but how about Corey? Just kind of sneaks through drop. Delay of maybe an aftershock to come through, but the take is on. Help coming from Calm as he gets over towards Blink. Up top, Pancake's good for the next elimination. And now Wardell, last one left, and he is left completely... Yeah, say like, calm. Longer angle. Just gets the peak. Would have had support if needed from Ken Pecky and a crew start off the shin. Able to fight through all of that and make it happen. A bit of a weird setup here. You know, we're done. And then even if you fall, you've got your tour ready to go. He was short of that coming into this round. So they do repurchase back up wow. for him. It's expensive. Fight towards Arcade. Now playing maybe under the tunnels. The so they're remaining. really just split up here. There's really nothing A. they can do off of each other. And you start fearing for TSM here on the attack because now it's on to calm. It's right around the corner from a couple of players. Wardell down low, first blood, but it's immediately countered. Piper's ball goes up, snake bite goes down. Rossi from the corner. After Chalk trying to push Tom out of this position, but he stayed alive so successfully with their own utility. Now a corner. That's gonna be good for a lot go. Wardell in the corner though for three off the tour. Still two more shots to play off of it. Amy catches Neon on the boost from what was going to be a showstopper play. And then the ace, Wardell. You give him a free sniper, he will make you pay. They're kind of second guessing how they want to set this up. They do still have three defenders near this A site. And Corey's low on health, so there's still some chances here for a crew, but TSM making some headway. Uh, what a big pick from Pancakes up top. But down core after the null command had come through. And Pecky Neon also getting involved. Just Wardell and Rossi left. 2v4 right situation. Aftershock comes through. Pancake's going to use that to clear off the boxes, and then the peaks come out. But it's Wardell with a sniper rifle. You almost feel like anything is possible after what happened last round, but this time, much more challenging than last. Nearly gets an impressive flick, but Pancake tree. And that's Ken Pecky who's going to be watching that play. There's the corner cross. Wardell falls. Cosmic Divide comes through offense. Though, so they might be able to use it to try to get control of this B site, but can't Pecky up top of tower gonna find Corey. They had the two man advantage now, and it's just getting worse for TSM as each yeah. second passes. No more lockdown Rambo. available now. <laughs> yeah. This one's gonna be over. Ten seconds left. Waco Sabrosa at this point. I think you just back away, try to save, maybe get a couple of kills if they chase you down, which is exactly what Pancakes was trying to do. But for TSM, it's just like their moment to go. They kind of mm. just got pinned up. Neon hits the first shot. Never them look where they've stalled reinforcements by this positioning. And they deal with calm quickly, which is also something they have not been able to do in previous Ooh. rounds. So now a crew kind of have to restructure, see what they want to do. Uh -oh. Sabrosa, trigger discipline. Does he not see the player up top? Sure does. Sabrosa for the double. Spike gets planted and TSM in a 4v2. Yeah, you feel like they have to win this one now. They have a four on two. Sabrosa's done well playing under rope, catching that rotation. He's ready for Kampeki if he comes through the slider. Gonna be a very tough retake here for Kampeki and Neon, especially with an op involved, and that doesn't give Neon a lot of flexibility. They just have to play for exits here, honestly. They have plenty of cushion to do so. Oh, the relay bolt does actually connect. Fault line to counter. Rossi deals with Kampeki. Now it's just on to Neon with an operator. You feel like Neon will just allow this operator to stay in his hands. Probably not gonna play for too much, maybe outside of an aggressive peak for an exit, which he does get one. TSM, do you chase this down? Yes. what they want to, and Aleko will reward himself. Oh, Hanpeki, good information. Relay bolt comes through. It does actually connect. Sabrosa able to at least reward one elimination in response, but it's not going to be good enough for anything near an A take as we go into a very early 4v3 with still 60 seconds to play. Yeah, a lot of time here for TS and the still try to figure this out, but they are a man down, and again, a lot of space of the map being taken by a crew. Big shot for Mordell, though. Rossi turns ah. at just the wrong time. Kanpeki, big, now has alt available if need be. May not nice require shot. it. Won't even matter. Doesn't get it the choice. Wardell takes him off the board the off. Oh! <laughs> Gucci wants the challenge early. X-ray off. See what he sees. 
Nothing past the Radiantite corner as of yet. No utility for Gucci. Has to do this dry. Comes around the corner and ah. Uh, I like how just gets caught looking the wrong way. An opportunity Not for TSM just missed. Yeah, he's got no intel. He's stuck. Very dynamic on their setups. Another round where the tour comes out. Defensive aggression coming out with the Rolling Thunder around the corner. No! Sabrosa deep. He was also, I believe, affected by the Rolling Thunder, but taps away and finds the head of Neon. Ken Pecky also in the overdrive on the flank. And oh boy, they melt. Two kills. Comp could flank them at any moment. And again, the biggest problem is that they spike us down, but Wardell, Port of Force, they didn't even get to pull the trigger. Calm with the headshot from behind. This has been kind of deja vu. Again, it makes you question, why does TSM pick this map? Yeah, dude. No official results. They clearly have some strengths on some other maps we've seen. But they, I, I'm surprised they didn't pick Split. I mean, I, I know that a crew has, you know, been really good on Split. I don't think they've lost a game yet, actually, since they put this five together. But TSM has won Split every game this tournament so far, I believe. I know Breeze wasn't even an option. A crew banned that. That's been another yeah. big map for TSM. I don't even think I've seen a full flash come through yet. Maybe now we have, as... Kaori will find a first blood. Around the corner, Kanpeki looking to still keep the aggression on, and he does get punished. Pay kicks for one in response, but getting suppressed and getting chased. Let's get away. And there she peek. Flash comes through to push him back. Wardell also in the mix, and it looks like TSF finally hit the go trigger, and with that, they will win the 12th round. Winner again gets to play guard for a slot in the main event, so definitely a lot yeah. on the line here. And Sub Rosa, night more deterred by somebody else. Aftershock comes through. It's actually going to stall Kanpeki from being able to chase down the kill. And in the same moment, Aleko grabbing a double. Now. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Stop. Not like High this. High gear's nuts. <laughs> it is nuts. But Corey able to get in behind, leaving Calm all by his lonesome here. While Sub Rosa's low on health, he'll never get to finish the job. Corey swears defensively for TSM. Hunkered up in the canteen. Aleko, first one forward. Does go one for one. That's not bad. The problem is, can Rossi get here to help? Yes, sir! A double alongside Sabrosa and a huge clean effort. So, does get mostly delayed by the gravity well. Counter rolling thunder coming through defensively. It does find a lot of value. TSM moving quickly. But can they find any kills? That's the question. So far, no. Decay starts to come through, but Aleko getting around the Viper's Pit does allow first blood to happen finally onto Neon. 23 seconds. The spike is down as Wardell takes out Gucci. Planted. And they'll never even attempted to get it onto site, really largely. So now it's just down to the eliminations. 3v3, the situation. 13 seconds on the clock. Wardell still watching from drop. Able to take down one more into pancakes, and Campecki's out. Uh, there's really not an opportunity for him to come and back and maybe even find this. And Wardell gets one more elimination. Com is still trying to hold inside, but nothing to be found. I just don't think they Cross comes through. Corey, a little bit uncomfortable at the moment. Campecki actually finds elimination plus a weapon, and then... Whoa, it... Yeah, good start for oh, a crew. God. And they can build off of it. Aleko says no. It was his B attack is being slowed down. Spike finally is going to get planted. How? Joe Stopper to try to re-break in. Neon throws it out. Actually, to stall, pardon me. And then flashed up with the Stinger. Finds a kill. 5 HP. Tries to make a greedy play for the rifle. Not going to make a difference as Pancakes and Com now watching from the back entrance towards Tunnel. Oh, and Pancakes, how good is he? Double with the Sheriff, leaves it all in the Sabrosa, thrifty, potentially top-decked card here. Sabrosa in, Concert Divide comes through, Fault Line will affect, but Sabrosa no. tried to hold, and now here come the reinforcements. <laughs> it's a massive round for TSM, by the way. Oh, oh no! Exactly. It's gonna be not just 11, this is looking like 12 if the crew win this, so TSM need to find a way to get this 4v5. And even exchange now it turns into a 3v4, Rossi trying to get away, not allowed to. A crew, big numbers advantage. Watching the corner cross, and now focuses over towards Jen. But Aleko cannot <laughs> confirm. Long range Spectre shots cannot get the full okay. kill. After the reload, though, the more difficult. They have the firepower. They have some time. Enemy remaining. But that mm. might just end it. We have. What's this call? It's been kind of a trademark of a crew on Fractures. Rolling Thunder. Yep. Alright, the take is going to be in. Ken Pecky, high gear. Finds one, also deletes the rendezvous. Not that it's going to make much of a difference because Wardell's playing from eight halls. Thing is, now he's about to be completely isolated. This aftershock is going to be it. So the spike should be planted, and now TSM have to retake 3v4. Good luck. They do have a lockdown available. Aleko's one away from Rolling Thunder. They have Null Command as well, so they have some options. They need to make it work because, like you said, their economy is going to be busted if this doesn't work. They have to send it. There's the Null Command. And Pecky had already thrown on a replay bolt, and you still have a oh, snake bite coming through, and they just go! 
The crew just goes it. to ground that I'll stand on and TSM survive. And again, I feel like that's what TSM's missed a lot in this half is having a clean push on one area of the map and getting that opening kill, getting that opening information and building off it. Around the corner, Tom holding tightly. Wall goes up, oh, throws a what? nice correctional shot to find the headshot. Now the fast lane goes down as a crew try to hit. Showstopper well is for Neon. As Ken Pecky is able to find first blood, Showstopper to create space, and that's going to lead to a plan. Yeah, he's just kind of scaring TSM back to make sure that they have side control and the plant. Now it's going to be a four-on-four -four retake. TSM need it. Again, they need all three to try to force that over time. Ken Pecky, no shutting. So Does it? No, it doesn't actually delete it. So wait a second. TSM are still up possibly able to push this back. All the last members are sitting over towards a halt. Fragment goes out. There's still flashes to play with, but they're trying to challenge our TSM. Aleko, could he be heroic again? Overdrive out for Ken Pecky. Long range shots are not going to do it. But you've got to stick for the defuse. And there's not enough time. The crew will survive through it. TSM gave themselves a chance. Through, at least for a little bit of damage, but forced the rendezvous to go back. Tom, meanwhile, through mid map, has sure. security kill into Sobrosa, and that's going to lead to an opportunity to move over towards B. Yeah, that was huge. They come up middle with a lot of forces and get the kills. It's now on Rossi on spot to try to slow things down. And boy, wow. does he into the let go through the wall. Them hold the numbers and the high ground around B without too much contest. Pink is down low. Seen, but. Or he cannot capitalize on the elimination. Rossi now through mid map. Odell trying to watch over the top. Uh -oh. Also gets eliminated. 2v4 now made a 2v2. 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds left. This wall has been used so much more than any other game of Icebox I've ever seen. Got yeah. no abilities left. It's going to be all down the fifth floor. He does have the health advantage. Got to focus on where Kampeki actually is, which is in the bottom side. Spam shots come through. Screen goes down. Kampeki sneaking around the back. Nothing on the spike as of yet. Rendezvous denied. Doesn't matter. Ken Pecky just completely bamboozable. Kind of lurking it out over on A side, trying to keep a little bit of presence there. But his wall is down. They're using that to push forward on the B site. Sub Rosa now playing bottom container to try to defend. Has a spam lined up. They'll disrupt this plant. And again, this wall coming in to affect and a crew with three in the blink of an eye. Oh, poor Pancakes, he's got stuck on the other side of the wall. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Cordell right underneath, and that's not going to be good news. Just Corey left. And he's kind of stuck at the moment, to be honest. And yeah, it's exactly what I was afraid of. Neon deep from Aleko and Wardell may actually allow Corey to get forward and stay forward. Good kill. Back out with the dis And Neon will dash across to claim that space. Looking to try to find that entry. They need something. They are still a man behind in this, and now it gets even worse. Corey teeing off. Oh, that's two kills now. Thrifty possibly on the table for TSM. Shot comes through. Wardell connects on the comm. But the spike is committed. They're already in. Sabro's so across corner, and it's not just the potential Thrifty. They do it in falls. Down and beat they will. Viper's pit also dropped now as a post. But does not get around the barrier or That's actually not good news. And then Aleko. Shock dart will punish. Resurrection coming out. Hunter's Fury coming through to respond. Aleko, can he connect with anything? No. Neon trying to push forward. Goes one for one. And then Ken Pecky to follow up from the tight corner. Means that the kills are all turning up in favor of the offense. Leaving Aleko by himself. And he does not expect one final crew member to be for the operator of Wardell. Trying to catch Neon up top. But this time Neon has different plans. Sabrosa. What a time to get a double. But... Still just playing with corners. Sabrosa two tagged up. Could not collect the third. Still an impressive defensive moment from him. Sure. And Rossi as well. Just kind of making sure the B side stays safe. That is full control. The spike is down mid-map. Got Corey playing forward. Easy kill on Ken Pecky. And now, for now, still has stayed concealed even through Rossi. But the problem is, Wardell watching. Gives you the idea that a crew wants to try to get aggressive towards a early. Who is going to get pulled out for Ken Pecky? Traditional sniper rifle for Wardell may be called upon. Corey up top, still good from this position to trade off the first kill from the Hunter's Fury, but Kampeki tracked down Sabrosa, then another on to Corey. Seeker is denied. Wardell in the sight, but revealed it. Uh-oh, Wardell is in a lot of trouble. Yes. Rossi's nearby, though, can help watch the cross. He was able to get the plant off, but now the focus for a crew is just to make sure that Rossi doesn't actually come into sight. Yeah, Kampeki has this screens crossed, though. It's going to be so tough. Wardell's breaking the Sova wall, or excuse me, the Sage wall, but a duck's right here, and an instant headshot on the Wardell, and Rossi's just stuck at screens with Kampeki still watching that cross. Clean. And yeah. Seems to have seen this. Sabrosa tagged up. That's going to be the first point of contact, and everything gets pushed back, but Wardell still holding aggressively. Gets Kampeki as pay kicks, picks up the scope.
He's not done yet. He's pressing forward for more here. We see the bait attempt there from Neon, but it's not going to work. Wardell ready for that. A three versus five, and while they still have spike possession in some time, they need to somehow beat Corey down at A to try to get some space and numbers back. But Corey has a great angle, but Neon planted. Wardell just staring at the very orb. Nice shock dirt comes through. That's going to tell you some damage. The second one lands right on the left heel of Guk. That'd be good for the elimination. But now, 2v4, Neon, spammed, just down to Com. TSM are all over this site. But Com does have the fight to play off of up top. <laughs> Leko. Yeah, that full play was a setup to allow Leko to get the Hunter's Fury, but it doesn't matter. Neon still challenges. The Spectre's good for the first elimination, takes the Hunter's Fury immediately out of the question. And even with this, the crew hot and heavily moving forward. One more player on site is Corey. The flash comes up, doesn't make a difference. The Bros is still looking to challenge the post plant though. And very quickly, he's in a position maybe to find more. But Campeki is able to find the trade, leaving us a 3v2 offense still with the numbers. And Neon still, more importantly, on site. Wardell, it's just an operator and a headhunter. Seven shots to play with. There's three of them. Now a 1v1. Snake bite over the Snake top. Bite. That's good information for Wardell. Knows that comm is playing deep. And is going to still trust that the operator will be used. Spam Can't shot comes through just to check to see if he's topside rope. Not the case. Wordell looking to hold, bite. and the snake bite will find the kill yeah. eventually. There's just nothing he can do there. When there's yeah. two snake bites still available. It's way over towards A. Mm. And the question is, what do you use to clear out this Viper's pit? Because Rossi or you is just go over it. Everyone's going over <laughs> it. Because you, you realize that maybe, just maybe, they're solo holding it with this Viper. They're trusting in him with the pit to just solo hold. And he's still alive, but they're clearing off the rotation. Good dash from Neon to avoid there. It's calm. And company are starting to make their way in. Rossi's trying to hold on for dear life to keep uh, this pit up. But Akrush is playing around it and whittling down the defense. Yeah, Rossi can't do anything here. Has not even really peaked outside of the one instance where he's trying to stay alive, largely. Ordell, how do you re-enter this with a tour? Apparently with that one kill. Oleko able to help out from above. Now down to Calm. Two stake bites still to play off of. First one comes through, second one immediately afterwards. Rossi still sticking for the defuse though as the not stake bite placement. Yet again, we see Neon relying on a shorty and an ult, but does the ult land? Yes, it does. Oleko gone. Huge entry from Neon. So another round with the Hunter's Fury is not going to be a part of the equation. Not to mention the lack of utility to try to stall this hit. But now Corey, still up top in a different position, just misses. Really good read on what's exactly coming forward. But can you actually find eliminations? Wardell says, sure, why not? Happening here. Corey could just Ross blow this thing up. He hasn't been cleared. It doesn't matter. Corey could just end this by stopping the spike plant. This doesn't matter either. It's time. Five seconds, Corey, around the corner. Wardell up top, there's the kill on the spike carrier. DSM, <laughs> hold on nicely. And I, I don't know how much of this, it, small ball goes down. Corey now makes the move. The spike will plant, and it's going to be that 5 on 5 retake. Plank sees information that's going to be at least communicated in some form. Tapping away at the Spectre, Wardell able to stay alive through this as Kempeki falls. Now Sabrosa trying to clear the Viper's Pit. Wardell still more, but it's really on to Sabrosa. Can he find multiple kills inside the Viper's Pit? The answer, no. And now just Corey. Yochi trying to delay as much time as humanly possible. Corey with the kill. Rossi holding. Tight. It's going to be close. Rossi. Yes, just barely. We end the half screen and now it's time to a crew to try to retake. And again, a crew has been so strong defensive. There's only been one team to stop them from getting less than eight rounds on the defense. That was Cloud9 Academy back in December. But every other game, they have been super strong in these situations and already off to a good start on this retake with the opening kill. And that puts pressure to have TSM stay honest towards middle. But Corey is re-clearing this quickly and then he finds the angle bottom side tube. Oh, Corey, how good is that? Still more to fight off though. Calm down low. This is a 2v3. Corey hit, made vulnerable, and then dealt with. Neon, backside of yellow. Clearing extra space through. Now just one more to deal with. It's Rossi. Trying to get off the decay, and the late peak is good as the, at least the barrel is. Flash on Sabrova. Uh -oh. Oh. That matters. Just over the it head. Missed, but it Rossi's been left behind and could catch this and wreak some havoc. Depends on timing. Did they see Rossi? They're walking towards him with one. Yes, that's going to be Pancakes taking Rossi down. It's going to give them an equal footing at Man Cow. And then Thwardell wow. gets caught. And that's a huge one. They have to reclaim that spike. But Aleko does get it. And he gets the op kill. Gets it back to a three on three. And they could still plant the spike B. But Rossi, or Khan, excuse me, could still disrupt. 
Only one Seeker moving forward. TSM should know that this is a free take, largely. Lear comes out oh? and retry to maybe wrap to play this post plant. No Back side B. Time is definitely an issue. Like we're able to hold, but the problem is you lose, lose a couple of members. Now it's on to Corey. Empress pop for the 1v2. Neon floating up top. This has been heard. Plus the fall down. Question is timing on this peak from around the back. Neon toggles for the defuse. Cloud burst here. Corey sees the information. Gets the first. Spamming through the box. Good damage. And then the next shot dismissing away. Not a lot of ammunition. Just two shots to play with. Now 3 HE. Pancake's finding so much value. But the recon bolt doesn't connect. Time is still being a problem. Has Corey done enough? Pancakes with the kill! And it should be good for Pancakes! Those weapons. Trying to delete the Aldrone. Neon with the blades up top will stay concealed for now. Defensive toxic screen. Diagonally moving across. And oh my goodness, the shots from Neon! Exquisite! Now back up top, he wants more! Oh my. Give it to him. That's the spike down plus three TSM members. Oh boy. Neon has absolutely teed off here. Can he do more? Won't get the ace as Guck has already ensured that won't happen. The pip on the fourth. And oh. there Easily taken off the table. Neon also having to give up the angles. The Trailblazer forced him back. Brings Sabroza forward. And defensively for a crew, it's two players outside the site and then two more mid-map. Which is a good isolation for Rossi. That does at least make there some consideration for TSM that a flank could be coming in. But that is not the case. It's going to be a four-man hit for a crew from the front. Yeah, they're all retaken from the same angle here. Trying to clear out some of this utility with Shock Dart. Trying to get some space up. Rosa's been spotted up there, but did he? They're, no, okay, they're waiting it out. Now they get the free kill on the Sub Rosa. Watch the late flank from Aleko. Trying to come through, but it may need to come sooner rather than later. What a shot from Neon! Aleko. Position uh -oh. now revealed. Finds one elimination. Recon bolt down. Kampeki trying to get to halfway. Second kill from Aleko. Still holding for the defuse. Can Aleko get there in time? No, cannot! Boy, did a lot! Drone also on the backside. They know where Rossi is, but it's really about oh. what Sabrosa doing. The first two kills come through cleanly. One inside mid, the other over towards the middle. But how about Pancakes? Hunter's Fury able to counter one immediately. That slows things down. It does, but there's still a man up here on TSM. But will Shot. it last? Campecki with the Tour de Force able to catch Wardell. Gets it back to equal footing at three apiece. There is still a sniper. Corey Lance. taking a lot of damage. Has to back up. Oh, but Campecki puts down the scope for just a moment. Ten seconds Eight seconds. Left. Spike still not being planted as of yet. Corey has to stick this. A little bit of chip damage. But the spike gets planted. Good help coming through, but unfortunately, friendly fire off of the initial shock dart through. Pancakes on the flank. 1v1 with this counterpart of Aleko. It's an operator for Aleko, and he cannot get it up in time. Clutch for Pancakes and a crew on 11. Indeed. We'll give him the Red Bull Club. I mean, okay. no, Corey's for yeah. forward. All right. I mean, they, so were playing safe enough. <laughs> they were playing safe enough to where it didn't matter so much. But, I mean, it's yeah. still sight control for his bike plan. But, oh, look at this from Pancakes. Pancakes. What a maneuver. Smoothly gets in. Guiding light will affect him. Tries to back away. Rossi will not allow it to happen. Recon Bolt does not get out. 20 seconds of the clock. Spike now making its way forward. Wardell trying to hold the corner. All the Viper utility now blossoming again. Tom around the corner. Spike gets planted down low. Kill comes out. Man up top. Come for the double. Ken Pecky also in the mix. Just up to Sabrosa and nowhere for him to go. The head hunter doing its job. Given to Sabrosa and Rossi on some of those entries when Pancakes was challenging middle and a crew were owning a lot of real estate on the map. He felt like they had some good chances. They were stalling TSM so very well. Even got the opening kill, I believe. But just good response from TSM. Held their grit. Neon knives come out in the opening moments. Wardell. Sniper in hand! Big pick versus Kampeki. Sage will get away, but the first blood tallied. And the defense has not a lot of room to work with here. No, it's up to Guck here. He's trying to actually re-aggress long. This is a very risky play. Trailblazer stuns him. He cannot get away. Bit, but... Neon over the top. Oh my goodness, Big. that's the spike carrier down. Hunter's Fury is still available if Pancakes wants to use it. Tom now rotating over. And oh no! Spam shots for pancakes! 3v5 now, 3v3! Neon's forward! Time ticking away and you still have potential for a crew to rotate and keep the mid safe. They track back for a second, but the focus has to still stay on to B. They still Snake have the bites in the way. Neon! Through! Hunter's Fury trying to create space for him. Not going to happen. Corey for the double. Just on to Pancakes for a 1v2. Time becoming a problem! Pancakes! Has he done enough? It's a 1v1 with Corey! Pancakes with the shoulder for the win! Pancakes! Gets